Hello everyone and welcome to the video, and today we're going to be talking about my full mage lightning caster build. So this is a caster build that primarily focuses on lightning, uh, but before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to not only drop a like on the video if you like the build, but to sub to the channel, it would help me out a lot and I would really, really appreciate it. As well as if you guys have any trouble getting any of the items for the build, you can go to aoa.com, I'll put the link in the description, but you can get any item or rune in the game, and you can use code Sarah for 3% off. So with that being said, let's get right into the build. So the first thing we always talk about is the gear of the build. So for this build specifically, we are using two gravel stone seals. So the reason why we're using two of them is because they boost dragon cult incantations. Um, I believe it's about 10 to 15% boost, so having one in the offhand as well gives it another 15% boost. I didn't even upgrade the second one, but I had the first one upgraded. And then we have two of stocks. This literally doesn't matter. This is just in case anyone got in, in my face and I needed to get them away from me. For the fashion of the build, we have the Aulus's Mask, Sanguine Noble Robe, Malaketh's Gauntlets, and Knight Cavalry Greaves. This is purely for aesthetic reasons, and you can go... Uh, for a little bit of a heavier armor just for more poise for the talismans we have the godfrey icon which en enhances charge spells and skills then we have the ritual sword talisman which raises attack power when hp is at maximum we then have the lightning scorpion charm and last but not least the flox canvas talisman for our wondrous physic we have the lightning shroud and crack tier and the opaline hard tier this gives us a nice boost to defense and attack and then we have the uplifting aromatic which boosts attack power and gives you a bubble so for the stats of the build, we are level 150, we have 50 Vigor, 35 Mind, 25 Endurance, 12 Strength, 14 Dexterity, 14 Intelligence, and 70 Faith. For the incantations of the build, I do not have enough slots to get all the incantations that I needed on this account. However, the first one is Golden Vow, followed by Lightning Spear, and then Honed Bolt, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, and the Glaive. So you could easily throw in a couple more lightning incantations. I didn't have space for it, and honestly, it hardly matters because these are going to be the main ones you're going to use. They are the best incantations for lightning builds. So now we're going to talk about how exactly you're going to be using this build and how to maximize your damage. So like I said before, you're going to want to be using two seals because you will get that extra 10 to 15%. I'm not entirely sure which one it is, but I know it gives you a nice bonus for the dragon incantation spells, which are all the lightning ones and the red lightning ones. So you're definitely going to want to use that. However, I definitely recommend having, uh, you know, backup swords in your offhands. Like I said in this build, I use the Astocks, and that's honestly just because I wanted to throw together something quick, like a Rapier. Rapiers are the quickest weapon in the game, pretty much, uh, but you could easily substitute that out for Curved Swords, make them sacred so they scale with Holy. And whereas you can't make it scale off Lightning, because for some reason in this game, whenever you make weapons scale off of Lightning, they actually scale off of Dexterity instead of Faith. So running Sacred instead is going to give you a lot more damage. So if you run like two Sacred Curved swords or honestly you can even go just like a, a halberd backup like the golden halberd or really anything you want to run but in my opinion i feel like having just two light weapons uh that are very quick are nice to have just in case people get in your face because a lot of the incantations of this build have very long cast times and make you very vulnerable to enemies that are just going to charge at you uh, where this build really shines is against big enemies that are going to be hit multiple times by your great dragon lightning strike that is the red dragon lightning strike that you're going to see me killing the fire giant with um, another thing I want to mention is that this was a completely blind run at the fire giant I literally ran in here the first time on new game plus and I absolutely destroyed him I killed him in literally like th uh, four or five lightning strikes and it was incredibly quick incredibly easy and he's one of the hardest bosses in the game because of his massive health bar so you're able to do incredible damage i was doing over 11,000 damage i think it was like 11,800 so close to 12,000 um and i didn't even have my golden vow on as well as my uplifting aromatic so i was missing out on potentially um up to 25 percent damage so it could have been a lot more damage than that i could have easily killed him in maybe three hits or four hits so the damage is absolutely incredible uh like i said unfortunately you know i wasn't buffed up because i really wasn't expecting to kill him the first try i wasn't expecting it to be as easy as it was but it was incredibly easy and for that reason this build is insane so now we're going to talk about a little bit of the downsides of the build and that's the long cast times however we have some things to combat this in the builds and even though the main damage is the red lightning strike you can easily substitute it out for the lightning spears when you charge them they do incredible damage as well as the honed bolt because you can spam it over and over again and um, i actually did it against the godskin duo and i was able to destroy them pretty quickly so it does do solid damage it's very very quick and the only thing you're going to run out of is stamina because it doesn't really cost a lot of fp so for that reason uh, if you need to be a little bit quicker you have those options as well as when you have that backup 
uh, the, the backup swords, it's going to help you out a lot. So overall, this build was a lot of fun making, and it, the amount of damage that it was able to do was pretty incredible. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to use it in PvP, I just didn't have the time, and I I can't imagine it's amazing for PvP unless you have, like, the two of stocks or the two curved swords as backups, just because overall, lightning incantations are pretty easy to dodge. However, honed bolt can be pretty annoying, especially when you spam it. I'm sure you guys have seen it already, but you can definitely get some easy kills by doing Hone Bolt, as well as if you catch someone in the Great Lightning Strike or even the Glaive. Sometimes they won't expect it, and since it's random sometimes, they can even get hit by it, just because it's kind of unpredictable. Also, the Lightning Spear is a good incantation to use if people are running away to heal. You can throw it at them, and it does incredible damage. In this build, it does over 1200 if you're buffed up with the, um, the Golden Vow and you have the uplifting aromatic you can probably do 1400 plus with it but that's pretty much it for today's video so if you guys like the build make sure to drop a like on the video and a sub to the channel i would really really appreciate it but that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time